Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to be tackling this simple MoGraph intro design. It's super easy. It's all done in the nodes. Let's get into it. All right, so first off, we're going to get our text. So we're going to click that here, and I'm going to go down here and click the center and the center, just like that. I'm going to hit tab, backspace, and type in all caps, B-L-E-N-D. I find this looks best in all caps, but you can design it however you want. And if you want the project file that I showed you already, in the beginning, you can go download that. It has the font, it has the actual export, it has everything you need to see how I made that whole project. So if you wanna go look at that, you can download it on Gumroad for a dollar. That'll be linked in the description. So let's take this font here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my font. So it's right here. You'll, you can find that in the project file. So here we have it. No need to extrude or do anything because this is gonna kinda look like it's in this is going to look like it's 2D. So we're going to go to the top here and we have our blend file. So let's go over to the shading. So here we have it. First we're going to do is click on this little camera icon, go from cycles to EV. We're going to be rendering this in EV. So now we have this. Let's click new and slide this guy over here. Let's add a mix shader and an emission shader. So just over here, emission, we're going to give it a strength of 30 and we're going to make it red more orange actually and we'll slide this one right over here to the mix right here in the bottom socket so let's go ahead and add a color ramp which we're going to use to 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 pick the thickness of those bars we see so we're going to plug that right here into the factor and we're going to delete this principle actually and add a transparent bsdf right there and plug it into the shader so now we have these two guys very simple now let's hit z click rendered and we're gonna see this so let's start making those lines and we're gonna use a wave texture click the wave texture plug the wave into the factor and nothing seems to be happening until we start playing with this black portion right here you can start seeing it so first thing we need to add so right now you can see that they're diagonal we're gonna add a texture coordinate right here and we're gonna add a mapping node right here. So what we're gonna do is plug the mapping into the vector here, bring it back, plug that there, and plug the object coordinate into the vector here. So now, either even more diagonal, but we just need to take the Z here, negative 45, and now it's flat, just like we want. So let's change this linear here to constant to make sure the bars are absolutely flat. There's no gradients going on. So now we have this, the bars are absolutely straight. So we'll put it right about there looks pretty good. And let's take the scale and bring it to right about, I like that. So we'll do that. So now we have this, but how do we make it do that animation that we saw? So what we're going to do is add a noise texture. Plug the noise texture right down here, and we need to add a mix RGB, which will allow us to transition the shaders to each other. So mix RGB, not mix shader, and we'll plug the noise into color two. So when we do that, we play with this, this factor here, you can see it working. And what it's doing is the noise, it's, it's playing with the blend on the wave texture. So you can see it doing just that. And if we up the scale, you can see it working like that. If you like that, I think it looks better. You can do all kinds of things with this, but I'm gonna keep it at four. And so we can play with it that way. Now it's black. You can see the text is still black. We want that to be transparent, which is why we used this transparent node, but it's not working. So if you're an Eevee, you would click the little shader icon and go from blend mode from opaque to alpha clip and now it's transparent you can composite it over things and if you want to export it as transparent what you would do is you would take this here go down here to film and click transparent and now you have a transparent background but I'm gonna be leaving it black so I'm gonna unclick transparent and then in your world settings right up here make this background black so I'm just gonna take my cam so I'm just gonna take my camera and add it control alt zero snap it to view and bring it out a little bit so let's go back to the shading and animate so we'll just take the factor here we'll go down to where it's 
nothing, just like that. So we want the animation not to just to, not to just be kind of basic. So we're going to go to the edit preferences and we're going to switch the we're going to click on animation here and by default it's on bezier. Now that looks good, but we want to give it a little bit more fun. So we're going to go the easing by strength and we're going to click pick the fifth one right here, that one. So keep that there. And if you hold down shift here on the hold down shift and click the factor, you get a smooth transition if you're trying to preview it. So instead of it being really buggy and very sensitive, just hit shift and it does that. Just a little help you out to get right on the edge of when it starts. So it looks like right there. I'm going to bring up my timeline down here, click timeline, and I'm going to give it 90 frames. So that's pretty much how long I'm anticipating my an animation to be. So I'm going to right click, insert keyframe, I'm going to press play, one, two, so I want it to be about two seconds. Hold down shift and bring it this way until it fills out completely right when it stops. Looks like right about there, factor, insert keyframe. And we'll just make sure it works, just like that. So let me see, let me see. one, two, started at 49, right click, insert keyframe, one, two, right about 76, and hold down shift, bring it all the way down, just like that, right click, insert keyframe, and the animation is done. So let's check it out, just like that, and it animates out. And it's as simple as that, and if you want to export it, you'd click the little printer icon right here, pick where you're going to save it, change from PNG to FFmpeg video. If you are using it as a transparent background though, you will be using PNG or PNG sequence. But since it's not transparent background, I'm going to switch to FFmpeg, click on encoding, change it to MP4, medium to high quality, and you render, render animation. As for the background here, I pretty much use the same procedure. I changed up a couple nodes, but it's pretty much the same exact thing as here. So if you want to go check that out, you can download the blend file. And there you go. Thanks for watching.